Hello everyone. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to grow your trees faster and I came across a method using a PVC pipe called deep root watering and uh, that's going to help us grow a tree a lot faster and I'm also going to add a couple of tricks and tips that the pro uses to help their trees grow even faster. So follow along with me and I'll show you guys how to do it. So pretty much this is all you're going to be needing as far as materials. I bought a one and a half inch 10 foot PVC uh, for about $15. You're gonna need two of these PVC end caps to terminate the ends so the bugs and debris doesn't fall inside once you have this down onto the ground. So I'll be cutting this into three foot sections. My tree is a little bit smaller so it doesn't need to go that deep yet. Uh, if you have a bigger tree, you may wanna go four or even five feet. I got my PVC cut into three foot length with the cap at the end. Normally we would want to dig a hole twice as big and twice as deep as the container that it comes in. But because the PVC is a lot longer, we're gonna have to go two and a half feet down, which is probably about four times as steep as this container. We're gonna mark where we're gonna dig. I'm gonna just draw a circle around it here. I have a big red X underneath it already. So here we go and digging. a lot better than I can but basically what it does is it's a fungus that grows underneath the soil and when you add these mycorrhizal fungi what it does is it grows into a net and it attaches to the root of the tree or the plants that you're planting down in the ground once it attaches it absorbs all the nutrient like its root does so the fungus grows into a net and it can cover 700 times more soil areas than the tree roots can. Imagine your tree having a much, much bigger root system to absorb minerals and nutrients. And speaking of minerals, this is azomite rock dust and my back has been sitting outside for quite a little while. I'll show you guys a better picture of it. Um, this contains more than 70 minerals for your trees to grow healthy. So for the mycorrhizal, you don't have to use a lot of it. There's a scoop in here inside the bag. All you have to do is sprinkle it a little bit on the bottom. And then you're gonna backfill some of the soil with like a compost mix. And then when you take the tree out of the container, you're gonna wanna sprinkle a little bit around the tree roots. And that's gonna uh, let the uh, mycorrhizal grow into that big fungi network. It's getting pretty hot out here. I got my umbrella for a little bit of shade, um, but you can mix a little bit of uh, uh, dirt with compost or just straight compost to half of this dirt. Don't forget your mycorrhizal. Just about a scoop. I got the uh, soil backfilled 
the pipe is in place. I'm ready to plant the trees. So don't forget another scoop of this mycorrhizal fungi around here. Then when you take this out, loosen up the root ball a little bit, apply a little bit more of the uh, mycorrhizal fungi. Okay, so before we top this off, uh, you want to sprinkle this rock dust at azomite. That's pretty much it guys so grow your trees three times faster with this deep water method um, adding the uh, rock dust and the uh, mycorrhizal fungi that's going to help it grow even faster three four times five times maybe uh, i'm going to put a layer of mulch on top to protect the uh, the soil and then we can come back and revisit this guy in about three months and see how it does and that's pretty much a wrap guys grow your trees three times faster with this uh, deep root watering method maybe even four or five times with the uh, azomite rock dust and some mycorrhizal fungi all done there's two of them I think I will go ahead and buy a third one and place it just right behind that tree right there. So maybe, maybe about another eight feet behind that one. So that one I'll just grow normally and see what the difference is gonna be.
all right so this concludes this video please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one this is my three-year-old tangerine tree it sat in its original container that it was purchased in for over a year then i decided to plant it into the wooden wine barrel in the second year last year it gave me an enormous amount of fruit and I'm expecting the same for this year. I've only added the micro riser to this during this initial planning and I think it worked. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.